Hello, my name is Dr. Brian Smith. I'm a chiropractic physician and the certified nutrition specialist. I've been successfully helping people with fibromyalgia for more than 20 years. As a matter of fact, when I first started working with fibromyalgia patients, many doctors used to ask, is fibromyalgia real? Well, from my experience and from the research out there, I can assure you that it is. Now, while helping people with fibromyalgia diagnosis can be very complicated, the key to helping a fibromyalgia sufferer is to treat the person, not the diagnosis. Fibromyalgia sufferers have chronic pain in their muscles and joints. Some of the causes of this pain can be structural problems, such as vertebral subluxations that pinch or irritate their nerves, poor posture, or tight muscles. A fibromyalgia sufferer may also have brain-based dysfunction. One example of brain-based dysfunction would be a problem in your parietal lobe. The parietal lobes of the brain are where you feel things. So if one or both parietal lobes are not quite working the way they should, you can have increased pain sensitivity, and that can be a huge factor in the pain that fibromyalgia sufferers feel. Another problem could be the cerebellum. The cerebellar lobes are the lobes of the brain that exert most control over your muscles and coordination. Dysfunction in this area can lead to the tight and sore muscles that fibro sufferers experience. The last example is the frontal lobes. The frontal lobes are where thought, feelings, and executive functions occur. Problems in this area of the brain can be a huge factor in the depression and brain fog, or as some people like to call it, fibro fog that many fibromyalgia patients deal with. Finally, a fibromyalgia sufferer might have metabolic issues. For example, problems with blood sugar can lead to high levels of inflammation in the body, and inflammation can contribute to the pain and stiffness that fibro sufferers feel. Adrenal gland issues can be the cause of the fatigue and aches and pains that are common in fibromyalgia. Or they may have thyroid issues, which I have found to be very common in people with fibromyalgia. Thyroid issues can cause aches and pains, fatigue, brain fog, and depression that often accompany fibromyalgia. Here's the secret though. Most fibromyalgia sufferers I've encountered have all three components, structural, brain-based, and metabolic. Some may have just two. It's very rare that I find someone that has just one, but the vast majority have all three. So if you have all three and you treat just the structural component, you may get some relief, although it's not likely to be as much as you'd like, and it will probably be temporary. If you treat just the brain-based component, again, you should make some progress, but not as much as you could. If you just address the metabolic components that you have, then you will be healthier, and you will likely see some results with your fibro symptoms, but not as much as you should get. However, if you want the best results, the most long-lasting results, the fastest results, you need to treat all three components. When you do, you hit what a mentor of mine likes to call the sweet spot. That's that yellow area there where all of those circles intersect. When you work on the sweet spot where everything comes together, that's when you're going to get the best results, the fastest results, and the most long-lasting results. Now, after what I just explained, I hope you can understand that there is no one-size-fits-all cookbook-type recipe way to treat symptoms of fibromyalgia. Successful fibromyalgia treatment needs to be tailored to the individual patient, and that's what I do in my office. If any of what you've just seen makes sense to you, you need to pick up the phone, call my office, and arrange a no-obligation consultation to find out if what I do can help you. That call just might change your life.